Kate follows tradition in green coat and £1,450 hat for debut as Colonel on St. Paddy's Day. Kate, Princess of Wales, has arrived at Mons Barracks in Aldershot ahead of the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. This is Kate's first time attending the parade as incoming Colonel of the Irish Guards, taking over the role from her husband, Prince William. As Colonel, Kate, Princess of Wales will give the Irish Wolfhound Regimental mascot customary sprigs of shamrock before delivering them to officers and guardsmen, who will then distribute them along the ranks. For the occasion, Kate donned a bright turquoise coat dress. Kate has almost always worn green for St. Patrick's Day since joining the royal family in 2011. There has only been a couple of times where she broke this tradition. Today was not one of those times as the princess dazzled in turquoise, a popular shade of green. Kate paid tribute to Ireland's national saint in an eye-catching coat dress that featured a high collar and buttons running down its bodice. She combined this with a matching fascinator and suede heels. Kate's coat was a brand new bespoke Catherine Walker design, a British designer the princess regularly champions. Her matching fascinator was by Jane Taylor and retailed for a huge £1,450. Kate completed her look with a tiny, gold, shamrock-shaped brooch, pinned to the left lapel of her coat. Kate's hair was styled straight and tucked behind her ears. As for her makeup, she kept the look simple with lashings of black mascara and a light pink lipstick. Following the parade, the Prince and Princess of Wales will meet with the Irish Guards Association which comprises of past members of the Irish Guards. Kate will be invited to inspect the front rank, while William will inspect the second rank. After this, the royal couple will meet members of the regiment before sitting for official photographs. They will also visit the junior ranks dining hall where the senior guardsmen in the battalion will propose a toast to the pair.